the liquid coming off. So in theory, once it's finished its cleaning cycle, it's ready to play. So there's no um, drip drying on draining boards or anything like that, which is a bonus. Is it a modification of something already out in the industry? Or is this it is, the, the actual, this particular system has been around since the 60s, but it's not been widely uh, manufactured. The reason being is it's not the easiest way to do it. The easiest yes. way to do it is a couple of brushes and a vacuum, vacuum cleaner. But uh, the reality is it's got to be a lot more refined. It's all uh, dependent on sourcing for us a, a very good uh, vacuum pump and it's all being uh, taken through a very small nozzle so it means we, we can use a lot less uh, vacuum but the reality is um, it's actually lifting the dirt from, from the, uh, within the grooves which is the nice thing and you're not impacting dirt so that's the secret really. that's it that's it so uh, turn it over and repeat the process so about three minutes for a side uh, for an album um, it'll do seven inches and ten inch records without changing anything so uh, seems to be the way to do it Something you, you are you a final man? That, so the waste goes in here. You see the thread in there as well. Quick release fittings. Just pour that away, and then you're ready to clean again. So.